good morning everybody in today's class we are going to study about the chapter cell structure and function of class 8 let's study about cell first all organisms are the combination of different parts that is called organs roots stems leaves and flowers are organs of plants hands feet legs heart kidney etc are the organs of animals all organs are made up of tissues which in turn are made up of cells though organisms differ in shape and size these are made up of a basic unit called cells cells present in living organism differ in numbers shape and size let's study about cell size bacteria pplo that is plurinemonia like organism has the smallest size of 0.1 microns ostrich egg has the largest cell size of 170 mm the longest cell in human body for example are those of sciatic nerve which run from the base of spine to the big toe of each foot these single cell fibers may extend a meter or even longer the shape of cells varies from spherical cuboidal columnar to long and branched types some cells have irregular shape that is amoeboid shape in case of amoeba there are unicellular organisms like bacteria as well as multicellular organisms like plants and animals each cell has smaller components called organelles some of these are common to different cell types each organelle has its own specific function now let's study about the parts of cell the single cell of unicellular organisms perform all the basic functions that is performed by variety of cells in multicellular organisms the cell has three main parts the cell membrane cytoplasm which contains smaller components called organelles and the nucleus this is a picture showing the structure of nucleus you can see all around the nucleus is covered over by a membrane which is called nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane is not continuous but there are pores on the membrane which is called nuclear pore within the nucleus there is a spherical shaped body called as nucleolus and just near to it within the uh, uh, nucleus is the presence of thread like structure which are called chromatin also the fluid the yellowish part is the fluid which is called as nucleoplasm okay then let's study about the next part of this that is nucleus nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a nuclear membrane nucleus acts as control center for all the activities of the cell nucleus contains some small spherical body that is nucleolus and thread like structure that is chromosomes the chromosome carry genes that help in inheritance or transfer of characters from parents to offspring nucleoplasm is the liquid material of the nucleus let's study about the different types of cells the first category is the category of prokaryotic cells cells without a well organized nucleus that is not lacking a nuclear membrane are called prokaryotic nucleus these are considered to be very old type of cells so the second category is the category of eukaryotic cells the cells with well organized nucleus that is having a nuclear membrane are called eukaryotic cells eukaryotic cells are considered to be advanced type of cells now let's study about the differences between plant and animal cells 
plant cells differ from animal cells in having an additional layer around the cell membrane which is termed as cell wall colored organelle that is called plastids are found in the plant cells only green plastids containing chlorophyll are called chloroplasts plant cell has a big central vacuole unlike number of small vacuoles in animal cells this is all about the chapter cell structure and function for today's class we'll stop over here we'll continue in the next class thank you